everybody come on in. This is Don Lanning. Welcome. We're here at our Friday and I'm so excited to do an artist spotlight today. Uh, I want you to grab your contact information and hold that up and look right in the camera and say your name. My name is Keenan Beckler. Um, this is my contact information. Uh, art page coming soon. Um, but yeah, this is how to reach me. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, listen, uh, we just had the most amazing 38 hours, and I had such a great time with Keenan. Um, we jumped into a bunch of tool use and a bunch of stuff, and once again, I'm so excited. You can't fake these things. Uh, they sit on the table and they talk to you. Can I get you to turn this yeah. out slightly? Just cant it out. There we go. And then Mike can get a better shot. But uh, tell us about, uh, you brought some photos and some things of reference for a jump off point. Yeah. Can you show us some yeah. of that? So uh, originally uh, it started out life as something that would hide in laundry. Um, and then right. uh, trying to look at like ambush predators. So we went with uh, stargazer fish and there's some other things that kind of didn't, didn't make it. But stargazer fish and uh, football fish. That one's wicked. Called, which is just, just look at that for a second. Really cool with the textures and stuff. Beautiful. And the fact that it's black is yeah. amazing. But look at that skin texture. He got some of that value, and also look at this directional stuff. This was the key photo, though, yeah. right? Is this the yeah. jump off? This is kind of the jump off and kind of where we, I got some of the shapes. Um, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, it definitely ended up being more aquatic than laundry, but the plan was always to kind of dress it after the fact when it's yeah. unfinished mass. Yeah, so, and but I'm happy with it. Well, and there's the thing about the class. Uh, this uh, hiding fish yeah. is going to be inside of laundry. Uh, uh, he and I got so into lion theory and fleshy organics and things of this nature. Uh, this sculpture goes on with you home, yeah. and you're going to continue it. And then, of course, we look forward to you posting when it is done. Uh, well, the sculpture is done when you say it's done. But, my gosh, you got so much done. I want to tell you some of my favorite things. First of all, let me go over here. He came on with this just in the last few hours here, but there's wonderful details running here and also over in this area. But look at these eyes. By making the eyes sculptural, I, well, at least I get a feeling of uh, kind of a chameleon uh, tank, if you will. But you can imagine these things almost independently, dun, 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 misfiring and moving around. The lip, of course, I'm a big fan of everything Henson. That may not have been your intention to do a, a Jim Henson kind of thing, but I love these big fleshy lips because you want to puppeteer it. Right? Yeah. Uh, at least that's what it does to me. And then he came on with, a, this was a thing we were talking about, a tool. And he came on with the blunt end of the D9, which everybody knows is my favorite tool. And he did something, I don't know exactly how you arrived at this, but that has a wonderful energy and feels like um, cartilage maybe? Yeah, kind, like, of, kind of like a harder tissue. Yeah, yeah. that's right, that's right. Actually, I'm going to turn it towards you, Mike, and get a little different light on it. Uh, look at that. And he's also got a great profile, which gives me a great feeling. I'm going to turn this way, because this stuff drives me crazy. I know I just moved you into a little darkness, but as I move it out of the darkness, you can see the quality here is like a dry lake bed. So he's got small little forms that have had the belly taken out, which for me is awesome. That leans a little bit into lizard, but it just works. And then you look at that profile. I love that. No, no human nose, you know, nothing like that. Humanoid, but off the planet, something very original. And I'm going to turn it back here. Talk to me a little bit about the back, would you? So just kind of kept the same theme going. Actually practiced the same theme up front and the back. And uh, going to add some stuff on the top one just to kind of anchor down some right. of the some of the. the Set dressings of things. Right. Sorry, no. No, it's Ch a little fun. chasing little things here, and, then, and you're uh, still working. Yeah, as well. this is going to be all kind of more right. fleshed out right now. Right. I was really focused on trying to get the, the the general shape of it and that sort of like big muscle group because the yeah. whole thing is mouth. The whole thing is mouth. That's right. Um, That's right. Look at the flow he has here. You see this line going at that cant or that angle, I should say, and this kind of echoes that. We have a flow going on here, which is wonderful. And you can actually even pick it up slightly in here. Well, it's at a different angle, but this also to me reads as a muscle, which means good physics. You can feel that there's some anatomy that's gonna be able to crane the head around 
And uh, so once again, it smacks of realism. Realism mixed with fantasy. I hope I didn't smash that. Anyways, and rubber tip tool. Well, let me ask you, uh, of the tools that we covered, what did you enjoy? What did you feel like you got a leg up on? I, so, I think the, the main ones I was using uh, was the D9. Right. Um, which this one's kind of still left a little dirty. <laughs> yeah, uh, trash. This guy, the, the, the um, yeah. abbreviated... Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's like, a, I don't know how... What, what did it's you, a saw blade. Yeah. And uh, once again, he and I are both fans of Ironhead. This actually was given to me by Jose. And what that is, is it's a heated uh, saw blade. Uh, and somebody took some sandpaper, Jose probably took some sandpaper, and took off the teeth, put the sandpaper down here, sand down the teeth, so it leaves you a very low relief rate. This is wonderful because as Keenan's developing the interior forms and refining things, he's able to turn that in his palm so he's able to move on the fly, but more importantly, the rake marks that are left since they've been sanded down or the raking aspect has been sanded down, you have kind of non-committal yeah. rake marks. They're so low relief, they don't tear up your sculpture. But I, I love that you get that one. That's also a wonderful tool, everybody, for doing appliances. You want to be able to get around the turn of a nostril, say, for example. That's a tool that gives you a lot of control. Anything else? The number six. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wedge, but I don't know where it is right now. But <laughs> it's here okay. somewhere. It's here yeah, somewhere. Okay. But you the were... number six, uh, like this guy, but the number, the smaller one. The smaller wedge, yeah. yeah. Well, the rubber tip tools give us an organic feeling. Um, yeah. We'll find it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, a lot of people will say, say to us, how, how did you get that to feel so organic? The rubber tip tools, the clay shapers, and things of that nature. For myself, I've always been great with the chisel. Yeah. And I, I really don't use the cone or the one that has a, a slanted or diagonal effect. But the chisels are fantastic, and uh, well, the rubber tip tools bring a certain kind of organic quality. And you can see that in his wrinkle work. I'm going to point this out. Once again, here, I perceive that you did it in here. Yeah. Uh, also, I started I, with the D9 and then yeah, kind of yeah. edged it out and Beautiful. added some more extra, extra, the, the, the extra ones, the uh, oh, supplementary. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Well, I just love that we. This has been a, a wonderful week. I thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming here, yeah. and we so enjoyed it. Uh, what, what else can I say, Mike? I just want you to come in, take a few more shots, and just go from side to side. And well, Kino, I can't wait to see what you sculpt next. Yeah. Uh, everybody, he's going to finish this up at home. There's an added element that's kind of magical coming up, uh, which I think we covered slightly. But uh, we're looking forward to you post the final. Yeah. Uh, and we look forward to that. And Mike, I'm going to have you come here with me. As always, everybody, uh, I want to thank Berman Industries for our clay, Friends Beauty Supply, where I've been shopping since I was 16 years old. Good Lord. Uh, for our head forms. And, uh, well, I have another class coming up uh, May 22nd through the 26th. If you have an interest in joining me, come on out and let's make a creature. Uh, that's Don Lanning at sbcglobal.net for our overviewer information. And I'm so excited to say that, Keenan, uh, maybe this, we'll see if you get it done yeah. in time, but uh, we're all gonna be at Monster Palooza, and I want you all to come out. I'm gonna have student work in the museum, and uh, we'd just love to see you. We're hoping to, that you join us. This is in the first week of June. Uh, Monster Palooza at the Pasadena uh, Convention Center put on by our friend Elliot Brodsky. And um, once again, a wonderful week. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> nice to it's been amazing. Right on. And we'll be back a little later uh, for some more Artist Spotlights. Thank you, everybody, for looking in. Yay. Awesome. Here we go. I'm going to take that from you. And we're going to go hit finish. Yeah.